Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Scars of will life. The popular enthusiasm for flogging people, in the name of law and order, has always baffled me. It is particularly hard to take from those I classify as Singapore's. The Singapore is the class of person who corners you in a railway compartment or in the dining room of a remote hotel and starts droning on about how wonderful and tidy life is in Singapore. This sticky city is, you are told, a litter-free demo-paradise, thanks mainly to the truly admirable menu of punishments its authorities dish up. My word, you are even guaranteed to get your picture in the papers there if you are caught peeing in a lift. Right now it is the corporal punishment option which is enjoying all the attention. Admirers invariably mention it with particular relish. The Singapore always, of course, sees a good judicial beating as something that happens to somebody else, and, further, someone who thoroughly deserves it. His own innocent, lily-white backside would never be bared to the jailer's rod. The only smacking likely to take place around his person occurs in the region of his lips, whenever the topic is raised. He will be boring on at the moment about Singapore's admirable way of dealing with alleged vandals, including the odd American youth. The message? Well, we ought to have a bit more walloping and thrashing around here. The answer to all of our problems is clear, dust off Judge Jeffries, shake the mothballs out of his wig, install him on the bench at a good, bloody assizes and set up the whipping post. A few stripes, here and there, and in no time at all Britain will be a peaceful, law-abiding society without a trace of litter from one end of the strand to the other. It's as simple as that. And it never did me any harm, did it? I'm going to have to bear my own buttocks at this point. In my case, if beatings didn't do any harm it wasn't for want of trying. I'm not saying that I was ever given the treatment in Singapore. I merely attended the sort of English school that caned, maintaining the traditional belief that the point at which good behaviour can be instilled in a boy is around the hindquarters.